Hi and welcome guys to today's video. I just want to start off saying Bonjour, hallo alle zusammen zu Hause, schön euch wieder zu sehen and of course Konnichiwa, Ni Hao and Hola. We're actually going to start off today's video where we actually left it last time. We were at this stage uh, spot welding the whole quarter panels on both sides making them exactly a copy of each other. So what I'm actually going to do for hours now is actually to weld the whole quarter panel. I'm going to grind down the welds and of course before we do anything we're going to apply some anti-corrosion. We don't want this to rust. That's going to be on the outside and of course on the inside. And then we can finally put some Bondo on. And I'm a pink guy, you know? So when you apply Bondo or the filler or the primer on the panel you're working with, you can actually see it transform to reality. I'm really, really pumped on seeing the results. As I said before, I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. But before we actually begin today's video, I actually have a question for you guys. I'm a little bit addicted of energy drinks over the weekends. Because I'm going from work at Friday and I'm being in the workshop from Friday to Sunday the whole weekend. So I just wanted to ask you a question. What energy drinks are you drinking when you need caffeine? I actually found a new flavor from Monster. It's called Nitro. I wasn't fond of it in the beginning. But damn, now it tastes really good. So I want to make a cheers with you before I actually begin with the car. And please comment in the comment section below. Is there anything I'm missing out on? What energy drinks are you drinking? And let's begin a welding and cheers, guys. I've been actually been welding away and it's getting to the point where I'm not happy with the results. Um, so this is how it looks right now. I'm not happy with the results we're getting because that this, you can call this the quick way or the cheat way, I would say. You slice it and you weld it up. It also means that you, not, not every time, but that you actually have to apply a lot of Bondo. I don't like that way to go. So we're actually gonna cut up two days of work. I know it's crazy, but if I'm not happy with the results, I want this to be perfect. I don't want anything to happen with this quarter panels. They shouldn't actually crack or the, when you apply too much Bondo, it could crack. So what we're gonna do is actually <laughs> cut up two days of work. I'm gonna take a piece of paper. I already began a little bit. This is a little bit of how I'm actually doing it. I'm measuring up uh, the radius of the wheel well, and uh, then I'm actually gonna cut out a piece of metal and start hammering away and actually cut out a lot of the work that we already done. Some of you maybe call me crazy right now. I've done this a couple of times and it actually worked out. This is a long ass quarter panel. It's too much metal that it wants to shrink and uh, it means a lot of welding and cutting and I, I don't like it. So we're gonna have a whole sheet of metal. We're gonna do it perfect, the old fashioned way. So let's do that.
guys, uh, I'm gonna interrupt this video. I didn't post a video last week. Um, as you can actually hear on my voice, I think, or I guess, uh, I've been sick and it's been quite bad. I'm, I'm still sick, but now I'm capable to be in, in the workshop again. And uh, of course, we're gonna work on the car. Uh, <laughs> I'm climbing on the walls right now at home. I wanna start off actually making a huge shout out to one subscriber that actually sent me this banner. I don't know if you can see the whole one, but Marcus Andersson, a huge thank you for this nice banner. As many as you know, I actually use Servin Vega uh, audio components in uh, a lot of my cars. And uh, this went right into my heart, Marcus. Uh, thank you for sending it to me. Uh, that's that's really me. So thank you for the banner. Really, really cool. And another thing that we have to talk about is that it's, as you usually say, it's a lot of blood, sweat and tear going into a build or a hobby. And I think it's actually time to invest a little bit in myself. As you can see, uh, sorry for showing too much. I got pretty much uh, no pants left. Uh, I've been welding, <laughs> I guess for three weeks away. So I think it's time for a little change up. Time for new pants. So there we got it, new pants, and uh, I guess if you know any companies out there that actually want to do a collab, uh, I'm opening for it. <laughs> I need a lot of uh, workwear, as you can see, I use them quite good. So guys, if we just take a look at the stage on the corner panels, they are not even close to finished. We're gonna we're gonna try to form it as good as we can. As I said before, we did a lot of changes to the quarter panel and that's because it was too many welds and I'm not too keen to actually use too much Bondo. I'm, no, I'm not saying the Bondo is a problem. I'm just saying if we do this kind of work, we could try to do it as perfect as possible, use as little Bondo as possible. But where we're actually at this stage now, we're gonna form it so we can actually apply the Bondo. But a lot of things that you don't see um, that we actually do. I'm gonna show you three things that, that actually takes a lot of time, but that you maybe don't think about, but makes the whole build more of a quality build. So the third, first thing we have to do is actually inner tubs or wheel wells. That's gonna be made in sheet metal, so the whole thing. And uh, first up is actually just taking cat paper, uh, putting it up into the wheel well, transferring it to a sheet metal, cutting it out and uh, beginning to form it, roll it into the fender. Another huge thing is that I want to be able to have is actually the OEM mounts for everything. So for instance, side skirts, uh, they don't fit as good as more. Um, and I'm gonna, just gonna say one thing, why we actually changed so much with the design of the quarter panel was, I wasn't keen of how it looked with the old welds, but another thing was, I hate it. When this edge, this one, is way too far from the tire. We took the uh, the white body back enough, we thought, but it wasn't enough. So the spacing between this edge was surely here. Then we had a huge gap between the tire and this edge, and you could actually see right in here. And I actually hate it when you see into the canvases on the car. Should be kind of hidden. It shouldn't be too close because you want the function still there. So what we did now is actually changing up the mounts for the side skirts. Everything changed when we redid the design. This was actually the piece that was on to the side skirt. It was sitting like there. Then we changed up the design, moved it back here. So what I actually did, I cut out the tub, I mounted it on the side skirt, mounted it up here. I did spot weld it here and then I actually formed a piece of sheet metal and boxed it in like this. So we actually got a new tub. This is how it should look when you want to have the OEM uh, mounting point and support for the uh, side skirt. So this is how it's gonna be mounted. And now you actually see how much in trouble I am with the side skirt. I'm gonna change a lot of it. I have to modify it quite hard. And what I actually mean with modifying the side skirt and making this piece 
fit to the rest. As many as you know, the G37 has a special look. And what I mean with that is that I actually don't like when the front end is so much lower than the back end. So what I mean with that is that the G37 looks like a hot rod. So you can actually, when you have air suspension, it goes way, way, way down in front. And the lowest point in the back is actually too high. So the car sits like a hot rod, like this. I like it when it looks more of a race car. It's even to the ground. So we're gonna modify the heck of the side skirt to get the lower look, I guess. And that's the same with the back bumper and the front bumper. But we're actually gonna cut it in half, put it in the height that I want to, and apply more material. So we're gonna do a lot. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm talking really, really much, but I just wanna be fair and give you a background of what we're doing. And then listening to me for now, maybe three, four minutes, you're gonna enjoy actually getting the background of what is he doing now and why is he doing this. And of course, comment in the comment section below if you think this is too much talk or if you actually want to hear all the explanations. Do you want the videos to be longer? Do you want me to more explain the process or do you just want to see that process? We have a lot of work ahead of us. I'm going to try to work as much as I can. I feel really, really bad. Just talking to the camera makes me sweat a lot. I love to create content for you guys. And of course, my passion is building stuff. So I'd rather be here than in the sofa feeling sorry for myself so enjoy the time lapses i'm gonna try to keep down my babbling but hey guys i love that you're enjoying the ride i'm doing in this build so let's get over building and i hope you could hear me so guys after many many hours me and robin are actually finished with welding this quarter panel uh, it's actually time for a ca primer i'm gonna show you in a second but we're actually gonna try to hammer this out as good as we can. But if you actually come here. <clears throat> so I've been doing this for over 14 years, I think now. I always been using Hogman's Store Plus Primer. It's actually a CH uh, epoxy primer. And it's actually to seal the raw metal so we don't get any corrosion. We can actually apply it now and then sand down again if we need to or apply more. So it's wet on wet or you can actually just apply when you want. So we're gonna hammer the quarter panel as good as we can, apply some CH primer uh, on the inside and the outside, and after that it's actually to the next stage and it's finally, finally time for Bondo. And uh, I'm gonna sweat as a pig, because that's gonna be a lot of work. But we're gonna mix up the CH primer and uh, let's go. Cool. 